doesn't love the legendary Legend of Zelda series? It's a Nintendo franchise enjoyed by both the young and the old, it tells some of the greatest stories the company has to offer, and also houses some of the scariest moments to ever plague Nintendo IP. <laughs> This is no surprise to a seasoned Zelda fan, but others may not realize just how downright freaky these games can be. Hey guys, this is James and Andres Erickson here, and today, in the spirit of Halloween, we're taking a look in no particular order at just five of these scary moments in Zelda games. Proceed if you dare. With Ocarina of Time, the Legend of Zelda series leapt into the world of three-dimensional gaming with a triumphant bang. It's a true classic, one that introduced us to the more fleshed out versions of Link, Zelda, Ganondorf, and this terrifying enigma, Quasimodo's soggy rotten corpse, otherwise known as Dead Hand. This creature is pure nightmare fuel for children. It's not just his grotesque appearance, but the way he wriggles and jiggles forward, grumbling for a bite of human flesh. Not to mention the long, bony arms that reach out of the dirt to hold you still as you helplessly wait to be greeted by death. Dead Hand can be found twice in the game, once at the bottom of the well in Kakariko Village, surely the same well that Samara of the Ring calls home, and the Shadow Temple, one of the most spine-chilling areas in the game. Dead Hand appears at the very beginning of the temple, leaving you quivering in your hover boots for the rest of your stay. He's the cherry on top of a cake made of spiderwebs and children's tears. I can only imagine what this guy would look like with today's graphics. That E rating would have to be bumped up to a T, maybe even an M for Mommy, can I sleep in your room tonight? The difference between some of the creepy moments we've covered in Mario games versus the ones from Zelda games is that these ones are intentionally creepy. Even so, there's never been a sequence quite like this one. After collecting all the tears of light around Lake Hylia, Link meets Light Spirit Lanayru, who shows him a vision to express the tantalizing strength of the dark power he seeks. I doubt any new players were expecting what happens next. The cutscene starts out all cheery and happy, with Link and his special friend Ilya smiling at the scene ahead. Pretty quickly though, things take a dark turn. <gasps> From there, things just get worse. The creepy music, the dark isolation, evil Link's unnerving smile, his wide, pupilless eyes as he screams in agony. This is full-blown horror movie stuff. You almost forget you're playing a Nintendo game and not Resident Evil 52. It's not a cutscene you want to watch right before bedtime, especially as a kid. As amazing as Wind Waker was and still is, it was refreshing to see Twilight Princess bring the series back to its darker roots, unafraid to raise the stakes with some genuinely creepy moments, even if they do keep me lying awake at night. Skyward Sword gets a lot of flack for its somewhat janky motion controls, but it's actually a fantastic game. In fact, one of my favorite parts of Skyward Sword were the Silent Realms, which also happen to be the most frightening parts. These trials are meant to help Link reach his full potential as the chosen hero, or maybe they're just meant to drive the player completely insane. Get her out of my head! In the Silent Realms, you're stripped of all your tools and weapons and must collect the tears of the goddesses, relying only on your own tolerance of severe anxiety. Once taking a step out of the safe circle, immediately all hell breaks loose. The mighty guardians are awakened, and begin marching forward to fulfill their life's purpose, committing die to Link. Collecting a tear will halt the guardians for 90 seconds, but the anticipation of another attack will make your skin crawl. The music during this time is eerie, and yet ominously beautiful. I remember it simultaneously soothing and haunting me for days. As one YouTube commenter put it, person who hasn't played game. Aw, this sounds pretty. Skyward Sword Vet. You don't know, man. You weren't there. Once those 90 seconds are up, or if you're caught by one of those crazed tattletale ghosties holding a lantern, you are once again thrust into chaos, desperately racing to find another tier to silence the bloodthirsty guardians. We remote threatening to slip from your sweaty palms, heart pounding, teeth clattering, heavy breathing, stamina dropping. It is quite literally like being in a nightmare. An intense, nail-biting, gorgeous nightmare. <laughs> Link
Link runs into enemies of all shapes and sizes throughout his various adventures and comes across a number of large, freaky bosses. But I think most can agree that perhaps the scariest creatures you'll stumble upon are the Re-Deads. What is a Re-Dead, you ask? It's an enemy the game makers dropped into several Zelda games to remind you that the world is a cruel place. These zombie-esque beings are quite unlike other Zelda enemies, as they first paralyze you with a piercing shriek, then give your body all the panic attacks as they slowly limp toward you. And if that isn't terrifying enough, you get too close and they'll leap onto your back and hold on tight! You better hold on tight, spider monkey. No, Edward. It's not cutesy like that at all. It's traumatizing. Even Wind Waker's cheery cartoon nature can't stop them from invading my nightmares. First, they scream. Then, you die. That's a good tagline for a re-dead horror movie. Nobody steal that. Ironically, one of the creepier Zelda games, Majora's Mask, strips away some of the re-dead fear factor with a surprisingly comical gimmick. While Link wears a certain type of mask, the re-deads of Ikana Castle will begin dancing. Yes, you heard correctly. Apparently, these specific re-deads were once part of a dancing troupe in a previous life. Ooh, dancing. Spooky. At least now you know. If you ever happen upon a re-dead in real life, which is of course highly possible, just throw on your best Gibdo mask and you're good to go. Otherwise, well, it was nice knowing you. As stated before, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask just might win the award for most times a Zelda game destroyed a child's innocence. There's buttloads of chilling imagery in this game, but the darkest, scariest part is actually the backbone of the entire plot. Link has three days to find Skull Kid and snatch Majora's Mask from his face. Why? Because this mask holds an immensely evil power that can and will destroy life as we know it. And this isn't your run-of-the-mill apocalypse either. The end of the world comes in the form of a giant, horrendously ugly moon that slowly and menacingly descends upon the land. Meaning you, the player, are literally fighting against time before this homely monstrosity collides with the planet. But it's not just the frightening image of the moon creeping closer and closer that makes this scary. And yes, you can actually see the moon creeping closer and closer. It's the clock ticking away, knowing every mistake you make is one step closer to your doom. It's the eerie music, growing increasingly disturbing as each day passes. It's the cold emptiness of Clock Town during your final hours, left only with individuals reluctantly accepting their dismal fate. And if your time does run out, Nope, no, aw man, game over screen. Instead, you're treated with this. Yikes. The game actually does an amazing job capturing the melancholy dread of the approaching apocalypse. What makes this one of the scary events in Zelda history is that it's not just scary. It's darkly sad in an all hope is lost kind of way. It's the first time a young child begins to really ponder death, the first time a child will lie awake at night wondering how life could be so cruel. Yes, you've met with a terrible fate indeed. Quite the happy ending, right? Whether it's scaring you or exciting you, The Legend of Zelda series is easily in Nintendo's top two or three best franchises of all time. Just researching these moments reminded us how amazing these games really are, and it's only bolstered by its moments of horror. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys and gals. If you enjoyed this video, do us a kindness and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to Ericsson Gaming, your new home for more life-altering countdowns like this one, as well as comedic videos, discussions, live streaming, and much more video game content. This has been Andres and James Erickson. Don't forget to tell the moon you love him tonight. We don't want him turning on us. Okay, bye!